My name is Jim McGinn. I'm Senior Consultant Scientist at Chevron. I've been here now 36 years on the development of heavy-duty diesel engine oils. I was fortunate to become the Chairman of the Heavy-Duty Oil Classification Panel in June of 1987. So I've been the Chairman through the last seven categories from CE to CJ4. These category changes have occurred at the request of the Engine Manufacturers Association who go to API and make a request for a new oil category to improve the quality of engine oils as the emissions have been reduced. The ASTM Heavy Duty Oil Classification Panel that develops these new categories is made up of all the US engine manufacturers, the four major additive suppliers plus other additive suppliers and oil companies. It is this combination in this team that has worked very effectively to de deliver these new categories on time each time a request has been made by EMA. Prior to these exhaust emission standards, when you go back to the 50s and the 60s, we were dealing mainly with single grade oils. But once emission standards came in, there was a need to reduce oil consumption because that contributes to particulate. So CE, which came in in 1988, drove in multi-grade oils, particularly SAE 15W40, because they reduced oil consumption by 30% and consequently reduced particulate. After CE, there was predominant multi-grade oils to reduce oil consumption. In order to reduce emissions further, the engine manufacturers improved combustion and raised temperatures. So consequently, another category was developed to handle oil oxidation and also to disperse soot that was increasing in the engine oil itself. In order to meet the exhaust emission regulations, First, there was improvements in in-cylinder combustion. But in 2000, it was required then to use exhaust gas recirculation to further reduce the NOx. Then in 2007, to reduce particulate, diesel particulate filters were used. And then finally, in 2010, the majority of on-highway trucks now use DPFs, selective catalytic reduction, and EGR to meet these emission requirements. And with these step reductions in emissions and technology to reduce the emissions, there's been a stepped improvement in oil quality. The two oil categories now predominantly used in North America is API CJ4 and API CI4+. Both these oil categories can be used with DPFs according to the OEM manuals. But CJ4 has a chemical box that limits the amount of incombustibles formed in the DPF after regeneration and should extend the maintenance interval of the DPF. So there is definitely an increase in API CJ4 as more new trucks are in the market using DPS. So there's definitely an increase in the CJ4 and a decrease in the CI4+. Well, prior to these improvements in the category from the 1987, for instance, engine life could be pretty short, depending on the application, maybe half a million miles. Today, we're seeing engines that have to do 1.2 million miles, and that is guaranteed by the OEM when you're using the right quality oil, right coolant, with good maintenance practice. Increasing oil quality is definitely enabled extended oil drains. If you go back to the 1970s, oil drains may have been 10,000 miles. Normally, most engines are up for line haul trucks to 30,000 and some now up to 50,000 mile oil drains. For the off-highway, Oil drains were as low as 200 hours, maybe 150. But today, even in the largest truck, they're now at 500 hour oil drains. And this is very significant for service and uptime. One of the unique parts of my uh, job 
is not only doing fundamental research, formulation development, but inspecting engines at 1 million miles and more recently inspected, one at 1.5 million miles in perfect condition. So we go from the formulation to inspecting the engines at this time and looking at all the parts. And what we're finding with this quality of engine oils, these parts are in excellent condition. In fact, it is not the internal parts of the engine that are failing in general, it's the accessories, maybe the water pump, maybe the alternator, the fan belt. So this quality of oil is reducing the cost to the end user. The combination of these changes is reduced downtime for the fleet, which is critical when you've got to deliver service or you've got to ensure the bus fleet continually runs without failures due to oil-related failures. The quality of these engine oils today with CJ4, CI4+, Plus, we do not see any oil-related failures, but we are maintaining the durability of the engine and reducing costs by extending oil drains due to the new technology that's being used. <music>